So hi guys, we are going over the 6 years of med school in just 6 minutes. Alright guys, so today we are going to be telling you every subject you need to study in med school from your first year all the way to your 60. Alright, so if you want to get into med school or you are already in med school and you want to know the subjects you will have to study for the 6 years, then this video is for you. Please watch it because my time, during my time when I was in first year and we didn't know the subjects we are going to do in second year, you would get to second year before your dean would, you know, make your timetable. And I am going to be commenting over these subjects, which ones are the toughest, to, you know, and which ones are the easiest and uh, which one students love most and which ones I had problems with and uh, hopefully how you can study these subjects in future when you get into med school without problems. Alright so the first year is uh, mostly the hardest part for many students because you are just getting into the system and uh, you are going to be taught in medical technology that is in Latin and many students find it very difficult. Alright so the subjects you study in first year are anatomy, biology, chemistry and histology plus you get to study a little bit of first aid so that when you get to the hospital you can help around as a student, medical students at the hospital. Alright so anatomy is basically the study of the morphological structures of a human body you need to know this as a doctor anatomy is basically the foundation of medical studies if you don't know anatomy you're going to be confused as a medical doctor for the rest of your life all right many students who had problems with anatomy don't do well in medical school generally because anatomy is the foundation of everything all right so another subject to study is biology uh, we use this book to study biology in our first year and i don't need to define biology for you guys all right so you also get to study chemistry chemistry will help you to understand human physiology It's the foundation of biochemistry and you would use it to study pharmacology later in third year so you also get to study histology histology is the study of cells so basically when you see people you know looking at microscopes it's not the job of a doctor anyway but you have to understand you have to be able to differentiate a cancerous cell from a normal cell things like that are things you study in histology you study the cells that make up you know the skin, the, uh, the nails, everything you study, the cells that make up everything in the body, the bones, everything. So if you ask me now what cells make up the bone, I might tell you, but don't ask. Study first aid, but the only thing you actually study is CPR. <laughs> I don't think you ever get to use it, but of course study anyway. So those are the basic subjects you study in your first year. You also study physics, but those are not important subjects. They're just subjects, you know, to keep you busy in school. I don't know why med school does that. We move over to your second year. So your second year is one of the most important years in your med school. So here you study your physiology, you study your histology, you study uh, biochemistry and microbiology, things like um, philosophy are all studied in the second year. Plus a lot of other courses that don't matter. I, well, I believe they don't matter. Please, to my future patients, if I ever get a patient that uh, has a disease in the subject I neglected, I am sorry. All right, so basically, microbiology is the study of microbes. You just study microbes, viruses, fungi, everything pathological that causes, uh, you know, diseases. So normal physiology is the study of uh, the general working of the human body. How the human body works. Physiological processes in the human body. Okay, I'm repeating myself. Okay, just take it like the chemical processes in the human body. Like digestion, stuff like that. Everything, how the enzymes work to, you know, help your body function every day. But biochemistry is the study of, you know, chemical structures or compounds that you're going to be using later in medicine. For example, you study the chemical compound of, what is the most uh, common drug? Parastamol, yeah. Study the chemical compound of parastamol and how it can be modified or how if it's modified it can cause harm to the human body you study the structures of everything that forms the human body like you know enzymes cells all of that i don't all right so you still get to study hygiene or general health or public health and the work of a hygienist or you know a general health a health service provider is a person that would go around assessing risk for example if is the food i'm eating is safe for me to eat if uh, it's safe for me to work in a factory or if it's safe for me to to live or sleep in a certain temperature of a room and all of that so you also get to study philosophy philosophy was the beginning of medicine people like hypocrites that is considered the father of medicine today was a great philosopher all right so this differs from university to university some universities offer latin language or medical technology in their first years why some prefer to study it in their second years but we studied it in our first year latin medical technology is just when you study medical terms so that if you are reading medical text you can understand it better one of the reasons why you struggle with medical tests in the first year is because you do not understand medical technology that is latin language because the language of medicine like we've already said is universal anything that is written by a russian doctor can be understood by a german doctor can be understood by a Nigerian doctor can be understood by every doctor in the world as long as it's written in Latin. So you study Latin language or at least the Latin that is associated with medicine. So second year according to the Russian curriculum is always the best year for you because you only have I think a few exams that are not even tough. You write your anatomy, histology, your first semester and then you write your I think uh, physiology and biochemistry in your second semester. So third year is considered health year for many medical students because this is when you encounter subjects that actually make you question why you decided to choose medicine. Yeah it's also very difficult because you get to have five exams in the, I think one month you get to have five exams in one month that is your part anatomy your part physiology internal diseases pharmacology general surgery and a lot of others in just the spec of one month so pharmacology is simply the study of drugs their side effects and their indications that is the, their uses and the when you should not use for example you shouldn't give certain drugs to pregnant women because when the drugs are absorbed from the small intestine they go to the liver and there is a connection between the liver and the fetus from the round ligament all right so that is just an example of what pharmacology teaches you are going to st be studying 300 
100,000 drugs. Their names, their side effects and everything is the toughest subject in the world. This book is evil. Believe me, it is evil. And if you don't study pharmacology well, <sighs> Right, so in your second year you studied normal physiology, how the word body works normally, but in your third year you're going to be studying part physiology, that is pathological physiology. Pathological physiology just shows you the pathologies or what can go wrong in normal physiology. So you study diseases, like you know, you break down diseases to their call and how these diseases can be treated later when you start therapy in your fourth year. So pathology was supposed to be one cause, but in Russia they divided into part physiology and part anatomy. So part anatomy is just like it, the pathological anatomy, you study the pathology of anatomy, you know, you study what happens when there are cancer cells how the liver shrinks everything how you know every structure of the body is affected please guys i don't want to go deep right so the next one is general surgery so general surgery you just study the general concepts or the, the basic concepts of starting surgery you know you don't study operational surgery that is another course that is topographical surgery that you study and uh, complete in for your fourth year your general surgery is your beginning of surgery and you get to understand if you are in love with surgery or not when you start general surgery in your third year listen you cannot be a good doctor without studying internal disease all right so this is one of the best courses you ever have because it makes you feel like a doctor and it's not really really tough there are up to 300,000 diseases and a good doctor must know at least if something about all of them the rare diseases the common diseases you study every structure according to for example you study the diseases of the heart cardiovascular diseases study the diseases of the brain you get an idea of how you can be able to treat these diseases when you start your therapy in fourth year like so another thing for medical students is that anytime they study a disease they always believe they have symptoms of that disease like if i have studied like hundreds of diseases from this book and each of the diseases i study i start questioning myself do i actually have rheumatoid arthritis all right so in your fourth year you are going to be studying specific subjects you are going to be doing more of clinical practice you are going to be studying a lot and lot of therapy because this is when you actually make your formation for treating diseases from your first to your third year you are understanding the human body studying diseases studying their structure studying their causes and from your fourth year to your sixth year you are going to be repeating and repeating and repeating therapy till it gets to your head because if a patient comes to you you are not going to be having to open a textbook before you are going to treat them you look at them you look at their diseases and you know what treatment you should recommend for them all right so that is all you study from fourth year to sixth year is just basically uh, subjects that would help you in your clinical practice and you stop having classes most of the time you are at the hospital you are shadowing doctors around and uh, you're working with them so thanks a lot for watching this video if you want only if you want you can subscribe to the channel so that when, when we upload videos about med school they will help you to understand med school better and if you want to come into med school then i think this channel is for you because we upload videos about med school life in med school both the educational aspect and the informal aspect. all right so the last video when you saw amarachi women with the armrest she actually did win she's strong guys